Hey, it's Jason Robel here on The J. Rowe Show, and it's fall, everybody, so we need some recipes that have that stick-to-your-ribs kind of quality, that super hearty feel that everybody knows and loves when the cold weather hits. I've got a recipe today that your friends will never guess is meat-free. We're gonna be doing fettuccine with a seitan bolognese sauce. The pasta we're using, just briefly, is a fettuccine. Traditionally, I like to use a pappardelle pasta, which is a wider, broader noodle, or a tagliatelle. The only difference, you guys, very simple, is the width of the noodles. A pappardelle, kind of wide, not as wide as a lasagna, tagliatelle, a little bit smaller, and then fettuccine, a little bit smaller than that. You can use whatever style of pasta you want. So the first thing we gotta do is get to boiling our pasta. I've got some water boiling already over here. And the secret, especially if you're using a gluten-free pasta or organic pasta, is to add a nice amount of salt to the boiling water. It helps the noodles from sticking together. And then we're gonna add one full package of our fettuccine. In this case, I'm doing a rice fettuccine. Again, you guys can rock out the pappardelle, the tagliatelle, the fusilli, whatever you want. I just want something that's gonna be really nice and filling and complement our bolognese nicely. Now the challenge, when you have a small pan as I do, is getting everything to fit. So what I'm going to do actually is snap our pasta in half. Woo! There we go. So if you have a small pan, all you gotta do is a little karate kid action and snap the noodles in half and you too can accommodate pasta in a very small pan. Now, like many gluten-free pastas, rice noodles cook very, very quickly. This is gonna be about five to seven minutes once it comes back to a rolling boil. So while we're waiting for that, let's go over and start making our amazing seitan bolognese. The first step is taking some extra virgin olive oil, about a half cup, and adding it to a large saute pan. You wanna allow the oil about two to three minutes to start to get up to a nice temperature, about 165 degrees or so. Again, a medium high heat, and then we're gonna start adding some shallots, some garlic, and our seitan. The first thing we're gonna do is add 1 8 of a cup of diced shallot. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of minced garlic. And then the star of our recipe today, we have some Sweet Earth Natural Foods traditional seitan. This is a ground wheat meat that looks like ground beef, tastes like ground beef, and when we put it in to this sauce, no one's ever gonna know the difference. So with our seitan, our shallots, and our garlic, we want to saute this for about five minutes until the shallots and the garlic are nice and translucent and heated through. Reduce the heat to a medium low, and be sure to give it a nice stir every few minutes or so. Okay, so while our seitan and our shallots and garlic are continuing to saute lightly, let's go ahead and drain our fettuccine noodles. Now, next up, we're gonna do something I haven't yet done before on the show. I'm gonna be doing some cooking wine, yes. A little bit of white wine here. The cool thing is, is this is going to infuse it with a great flavor, but all the alcohol is gonna burn off. So let's add a quarter cup of Oak Vineyard's finest. What you wanna do is just saute this mixture until all of the white wine is completely absorbed. Another four to five minutes or so. And you can see it's already turning into a nice, delicious consistency. The flavor, the flavor is amazing, especially with that white wine in there. The white wine just adds a nice, tangy, kind of ethereal smell to the thing. All right, so our seitan is looking nice and golden brown. You want a little bit of color to it. You can see it's starting to turn into this really nice, almost caramelized, earthy brown color. Really beautiful, and that's a sign it's time to move on to our fire-roasted tomatoes. So, fire-roasted tomatoes in particular, you can now get organic in the can, or you can always roast them off yourself in the oven if you feel like going the DIY route. Now, the fire-roasted can I have here is about 14 ounces. Awesome color, delicious flavor. Go ahead and add all the tomatoes and the juice right to your skillet. You could do this with any diced tomatoes, but again, I just find that adding that fire-roasted element just gives it a really dynamic flavor. So we have to have a nice salt balance. So let's go ahead and add a teaspoon of either Himalayan crystal salt or sea salt. Next, we're going to add a half teaspoon of ground black pepper. And last, we gotta kick up the spice a little bit in this recipe. 
So go ahead and add a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Continue sauteing your bolognese sauce for another couple minutes or so, just to get the salt, the pepper, and the red pepper flakes mingling nicely with all the other ingredients in the pan. So we're back at our sink and we are ready to dip into our noodle nirvana here. So go ahead and take your fettuccine and add a generous amount right to your favorite serving dish. So go ahead and just dollop a nice heap and helping of your bolognese sauce on top. I like to take a little bit of fresh basil and I like to chiffonade this very thinly. Chiffonade is just a fancy word for cutting them into small strips. So a little bit of chiffonaded basil does wonders on top of this recipe. Okay, now it's the moment of truth and seeing how the date went with fettuccine and bolognese. So let's get everything in there. Beautiful bolognese, that basil. Oh my goodness. Mmm. The seitan in there, super flavorful, very dense and meaty. Again, your meat-eating friends are not going to miss the beef once they try this recipe. So if you loved this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. What's your favorite kind of food, if you're going on the healthier side or the meatless side, to give to your more skeptical friends? What do you guys love to make? Is it comfort food? Is it salads? Is it dessert? What's the one go-to dish you found is really the one that can sway the skeptics. I'd love to know. So be sure to check out Sweet Earth Natural Foods. They have the most delicious and innovative seitan products on the market. Again, this is a wheat meat that has tons of protein, super digestible, and is easy to substitute in already existing recipes that would normally use beef, ground beef, or even pork. So guys, I'm gonna bounce on out of here, and if you haven't done so already, Please follow me on all the social media networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. It's at Jason Robel. That's Jason W-R-O-B as in babyel.com. And of course, follow Sweet Earth Natural Foods on all the social media networks as well. And on Twitter, they are Zen Farmer Says. So keep up with them. They've got great new products coming out all the time. And more recipes on the way for me, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. See ya. Bye. Mm.